number one, I want to emphasize that uh, we're not just addressing baseball. Baseball happens to be in my area. Baseball and track to some degree happen to be my areas of personal specialization in the moment, but we want to open these up for comments on others. And by the way, we're going to invite people to, it's not our first uh, session with Rick, we're going to have him available for questioning and, ev and everything, but correct me if I'm wrong, baseball is particularly effective because it's a roster uh, game. It's influenced by numbers. So uh, Division One baseball, is the only uh, college sport, only NCAA sport, or at any college level that I'm aware of, where they're limited uh, by rule by the number of athletes they can have on their roster during the regular season. Can I so, interrupt you? Are they, is there any discussion? Um, I'm going to have on a, a friend of mine named Dan Gooley, who used to be the head coach of Quinnipiac. And I understood, I'm, I may need to be corrected here, but I understand that, is there any discussion to expand rosters uh, to accommodate this? So, Carl, at this time, what NCAA Division I has done is for, again, for those who were, were seniors this year or in their, in their last year of eligibility, players who were in their last year of eligibility at the Division I level, if they return next year, they will not count as a roster slot for Division I rosters. But any other player returning, uh, a younger player returning to the roster next year, a high school incoming recruit, a junior college transfer, they're all going to count as a regular roster slot. So basically, you've got the Division I rule limiting to 35 men on the roster during the spring, and then it can be expanded only by the number of guys who were seniors this year and choose to return. So doing the math, what that means specifically is, let's say I have two seniors that we're going to afford that opportunity. Correct? Yep. Okay, so now my roster is at 37. Let's take that a step further. Let's say, and I know this isn't real common at the Division I level, let's say there were seven seniors on the roster. Four of them choose to return. The other three are going to move on to their business career, whatever they choose to do. But four of those return. Now you're going to have 39 on that roster next year. 